We are libertarians, and we know that some questions don't have easy answers. Some of the biggest questions in our political discourse, in our cultural conversation, are questions that no matter how much we talk about them, they're probably never going to have easy or even really clear answers. One of those topics that continues to come up, and I'm sure will continue to come up for years, centuries, I mean, I don't think this conversation will ever end, is the conversation around abortion and around when does life or personhood begin and when is it acceptable or allowable to end a human life? And this is a question that a lot of people really want to make more simple than it is. Um, and it seems like something that should lend itself to easy answers. I mean, all human life is precious, but in practice, that's not really the way that we tend to carry things out. And more than that, the question of what is morally right and what should be legally allowable are very different things because moral answers are not always easily achieved and what is legal doesn't necessarily have anything to do with what's moral. All of this is why we as libertarians were pro-choice. Now, pro-choice on a lot more than just a woman's right to choose whether or not to continue to carry a pregnancy. But in this case, the reason that we're pro-choice on this topic is because we don't feel that the government should be the one making that choice. You know, there are honestly held good opinions and good arguments on all sides of this debate. And because of that, the decision really is something that has to come down to the people who are involved in that decision, the people who are making that choice. Those are the only people who can know all of the aspects that go into that and who can make the best decision for everyone involved. The same thing is true when it comes to end-of-life decisions for suicide cases and assisted suicide in terminal illnesses, which we discussed in a previous video. This is the other end of that coin, the other end of that story. It's the fact that if we all have the ability to control ourselves and our lives, then at what point does that come into conflict with other people? When we're talking about the question of when does life begin, even the seemingly clear answers are not really all that clear once you get down into the granular parts. One thing that we hear a lot in this conversation is that life begins at conception. But conception is not a moment in time. Conception is not a single moment where something happens that makes nothing out of, uh, into life. Conception is a process that involves many different things. And at some point during the process of conception or the process of gestation, or potentially just the process of birth, we agree that at some point in this, a human life gains personhood and, and gains the, um, the moral necessity to be considered and gains certain rights that we account, that we, um, that we afford to every human. So when does life begin is not necessarily the question that we're arguing when we have discussions about abortion and about when it's acceptable to end human life. The discussion is about uh, when personhood begins and when the rights of that person outweigh the rights of other people involved. And that's never a conversation that's going to have an easy, question, an easy answer. And it's never a conversation that's going to have cookie cutter answers that can be applied to all of the different ways that this situation may arise. So when it comes to these kinds of questions, the best answer that we can provide is that these are not situations that government should be giving an answer to. Because governments are not good at considering the fine details and the granular arguments. Does life begin at fertilization? Does life begin at implantation? Does life begin at viability? Or does life begin at birth? Well. Life itself 
begins way earlier than where we consider with law. Life, human life, begins when a sperm and an egg meet together and create an embryo. But there are hundreds of thousands of embryos sitting in long-term frozen storage that don't factor into this conversation at all for most people. And to me, that's just one more small detail that says this conversation is far more complicated than many of us want to admit. So let's keep the government force out of it. We're libertarians and that's what we believe. <laughs>